on the front. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call upon the treasurer of the Brooklyn Heights Association, Allison Hill, will give a brief report. Thanks, President. So brave. Dispatches from America's first supper. The Brooklyn Heights Block was founded in 2006 by John Los Calza, who many of you know as Homer Fink. Since then, Homer Fink, uh, his techie sidekick, Theo Akinas, fellow Heights residents Mark Herman, Claude Scales, and Heather Quinlan, who are among the regular contributors, have made the Brooklyn Heights Block the go-to source for all things Brooklyn Heights. And we really mean it. Whether you're trying to figure out when your street will get plowed, uh, which movie star's trailer is hogging up your parking spot, uh, who is the favorite candidate for local election, or what new establishment is moving into that empty storefront on Monica Street. We have all come to depend on the EHV, uh, but one of the greatest values in the neighborhood is the forum it provides for Heights residents to express their opinions and to communicate with one another. As Homer commented in a recent post, this is a blog powered by opinion, ours and yours. We don't pretend to be anything else. The point of this post is to encourage a civil dialogue from both sides of the issue. The BHB has played a significant part in unifying and supporting our neighborhood. It's provided a new means for Heights residents to communicate with one another on local issues so that we can all, including those of us at the Brooklyn Heights Association, better understand what's important to us as a neighborhood. So we thank the Brooklyn Heights Squad for its contribution to the community and encourage Heights residents to continue reading and commenting on the blog. John Lewis Housco, a.k.a. Homer Payton, please come forth. Trinity. In 1938, he made his son, William Howard Mellish, the assistant rector. Zach Neffens. Ari, Ari Neffens is, you're already starting off on a bad foot. Um, now, like many intellectuals of the day, the younger Mellish uh, fell in with the commies, uh, specifically a, an organization called the National Council for Soviet American Friendship and other, uh, he also joined some other lefty organizations. And as you know, after World War II, when the Russians won World War II, along with us, the communism, really, everybody was really uh, designed and built it, uh, and it opened the Church of the Savior uh, between 1842 and 1842. Hello, America. Uh, young man, uh, what do you have to say about the storm? Uh, first of all, um, I'm trying to use uh, one of these iPhone apps, it doesn't work too good. Uh, number two, Number two. Uh, don't try this. Stay home. Stay home. It's all right inside. So this is a warning. Stay in bed, right? And you got Homeland to watch. You got, I just watched Dexter. Not so good. Uh, what else you got? The whole season of Always Sunny in Philadelphia is on demand. Yo, it's raining right now. You know yeah, that, right? It's raining. I didn't bring an umbrella. But I'm going to go to uh, Oh, model. Excuse me, sir, you're in my, you're in my frame. Oh, run! Whoa! Oh, oh. What did I do? Oh, I can't jump with you. I was on the block. 
I'm getting you walking. save a glass frame. Uh, Let's ask this gentleman here. Uh, oh, hello. Th hello yes, uh, sir, th does this work? This Will this is great if you want to paint the window. It would be awesome. Uh, this will do nothing to uh, protect anyone or, or help uh, save lives. Uh, read the blog, brooklynheightsblog.com for more information. But this will not help, although we wish for Scotty's uh, uh, good luck and Godspeed in this, uh, in this, uh, during the storm. Uh, we'll, we'll come back tomorrow and see if Indeed, what Mr. Fink here has said is Look at this guy walking true. John, we love you, and we're going to miss you greatly in Brooklyn Heights. <laughs>